In this video we're going to use Lagrange's method to solve a trivial PDE. Now this is totally overkill but it gets us used to the method and just shows that everything sort of matches up with what, what we learned earlier in the course. So the PDE we're going to consider is this fellow, the u by dx equals zero and of course we could just solve that simply by integrating with respect to x whilst holding uh, y constant and then we'd find the solution u of x and y is some arbitrary function of y. Um, but now we want to use the Lagrange's method to see how that works. So Lagrange and the first thing we need to do is we need to identify the coefficients so the coefficients that we were calling a, b and c so a is whatever's in front of du by dx so that's just one here b is the coefficient of du by dy so there's no no times du by dy, so that's zero. And then finally, c is whatever's left over on the right hand side, so that's also zero here. Okay, so very simple. And once we've identified those coefficients, we can write down the Monge equations straight away. And we only need two of these. So let's write down, so these are ordinary differential equations. So dy by dx is b over a, b over a, so that's zero. And the second one we'll look at is du by dx, and du by dx is c over a, and that's uh, also zero. So now we've got two very, very simple uh, ODEs, which we can simply solve. So dy by dx is zero, so that means that y is a constant. Let's call it c1. Similarly for du by dx, that's also zero, so u must also be a constant. And this is, we'll call that c2. Okay, so this defines two uh, surfaces, so C1 equals some function of x, y, and u. And the second surface, C2, is a function of the same thing, uh, sorry, there should be a 2 here, that's a different function. So that's the two surfaces, and the intersection of those gives us the characteristics. So here we've identified V1 as being Y, and V2 is equal to U. And so, now we know the characteristics, and we can write down the general solution as v2 equals some arbitrary function of v1. So in this case, this tells us u equals some arbitrary function of y. And that's our final answer, obtained through Lagrange's method. And if we scroll back up to the top, you'll see that this is exactly the same as we got by simply integrating.